Right, so let's have a look at a little bit of Eve Eve magic. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll have a look at some of the weaknesses around SSL. So the trick itself is for Eve to crack uh, a tunnel. So in this case, the magic is a little bit different in that she's going to do it against the server rather than against Bob and Alice and so on. Okay, so just to recap, okay, recap again. Uh, with that I say we have two prime prime numbers, P and Q. We multiply them together to get the public modulus, uh, in this case 33. We calculate phi, phi is P minus 1 and Q minus 1. In this case it's 2 times 10 which gives us 20. And then we determine the value of the public exponent E uh, to not have any shared factors with phi. That's the greatest common uh, denominator between the two is 1. Okay, so that's our encryption key. Now we've got to calculate d times e mod of 20, phi, is equal to 1. And there are various ways we can do that, but we can calculate that as 7 because 3 times 7 is 21. Take mod 20 and we end up with 1. Okay, so there's our decryption key. So that's the way that it works. And then when we cipher, we take the message to the power of E, mod N, and then when we decipher, we take the cipher to the power of D, and then do a mod N. Okay, so there's an example there, go from there to there, and that's the RSA method. Okay, so for Eve's trick, what she's actually going to do is she's going to uh, connect to, to a website, famous one, we won't say which one, uh, but then what she'll do is she'll send some messages to the site and then uh, the, mess the replies back will appear in, in red messages if, if it hasn't been successful and then hopefully she'll get a good message. Okay, so she gets to 100 uh, messages, red messages, and it's just not working. She gets to 1,000, it's not working, and then she gets to 10,000 and it's still not working. And then we see 20 and then 30,000 red messages pass by, but it's just not working. And then all of a sudden, when it gets to 41,243, a message appears that it's been successful. She gives it a little bit longer, and then she is able to crack the communications or crack the session key that was involved in the session. So she then goes and uh, gets Bob to access the site and we go from seeing something that uh, is is garbled to be able to see whatever Bob is, is actually uh, accessing. So how did she do it? Well it's a well known attack and it's this attack here and what it is is that it looks at uh, the padding that's involved in the creation of the SSL uh, session key or the pre shared key and affects version 2 and 3. And there is this padding that's involved, involved that, that uh, the actual key is, is too short compared to the value of the N. So it's padded with some bytes. At the very start, there's uh, two bytes 00, zero and 02. Zero Okay, so if you remember them. So if we look at the very start, we have a pre-shared key, and then we will cipher that. Okay, so uh, so Bob will send, will create the pre-shared key, and then uh, we have uh, that the power of E mod M that goes to the server. And the server will hopefully be able to decrypt that and we have the session key. But what Eve does is that Eve takes the cipher and then takes a random number and then raises that to the power of E Then takes mod n. She then plays that back to the server and she watches to see if it's, if it's correctly ciphered, if it's a correct cipher or if she gets an error. Okay, so if we go through the maths of it, there's the cipher, and we get uh, s to the power of e, 
and then when it's decrypted that goes to the power of d so when the server receives it that becomes c to the power of d which is actually the, the message and s to the power of e d is like encrypting and decrypting so we get s so armed with that Eve can then go ahead and actually crack uh, the key okay so here it is here so we have we see the the padding that goes on there okay then there's some hex hex values and the key and some padding at the end of it there okay so that's the thing that's actually sent as the message there so Eve picks up the cipher and then we'll go through and try lots of different values until she gets to the one that she gets actually a reply back t that looks like the key has actually been successful okay so let's have a look at the code that's uh, that's related to this okay it's very very simple uh, little program here so I'll just pull that up so it's a very basic proof of concept okay so we have an E key D and there's our N there so the, the program itself just basically goes through a range of values until it can actually find one that starts with 0 and 3 uh, 2 so in this case it's found at 223 so these are the S values that we have here so what's happened here is that when we calculate the S values to the power of V and we go through it then this one here actually produces a, a decrypted value of 0 and 2 so we don't get an error and it might not be the, the right key yet but we, we don't actually get an error okay and the code is here if you want to have a look at it fairly sim simple code and the attack is known as the Beishbacher, Beishenbacher attack and you can actually have a look at the paper here okay uh, and it's it is actually uh, a well-known at attack on SSL version 2 and version 3 and it uh, it has caused lots of problems in with websites okay 